I want to show you how you can convert your document, like I have here on Yummy Bears, into a PowerPoint presentation. And if you don't know anything about PowerPoint, then I recommend that you watch my training videos on it. But in short, PowerPoint is a presentation program. It does a lot of the same things that Word does, like you can type text, insert images, objects, draw shapes. But the biggest difference is that once you do all that in PowerPoint, you can actually animate any of it, as well as movies and audio, which you can add to PowerPoint as well. So in PowerPoint, I could take my title here, Yummy Bears, and have it fly in from the right, zoom, like that, all animated. And with that sound effect, because it can record my voice, but they have better sound effects that you can use. In any case, you don't want to do too much in PowerPoint, because if that's all you did was all these gee whiz effects, as in gee whiz, look at what I can do, where they fly in, they come in, they fade in, they twist and turn, well, you're going to lose your audience because they're only focused on either getting dizzy and sick or what next effect is going to be coming up. In any case, what you can see here is the text I want to give a presentation on, but to copy it over to PowerPoint, which I could go ahead and select all of it and copy and paste it into PowerPoint, but instead I want to use the Send to PowerPoint feature, because that feature will only copy over from my document things like bulleted lists and any heading styles that I applied to my text. Now, why doesn't it pull over all the text? The whole purpose of PowerPoint is not to read, that's a Word document. So if you want them to read things, I would recommend go ahead and printing off your document here and using it as a handout, which some people do during presentations. But the presentation, the slides that you show up on the screen, is just supposed to focus on your main points and your subpoints like I have here. So I've got, well, when I click anywhere within the text up here on the Home tab in the Styles group, there you go, there's my heading style 1, the main point, and then the subpoints to the main point, like flavors, that's heading style 2, and that's also heading style 2 as well. And when I select or click within that paragraph, that's normal, so that's not going to pull over. So just the main points and the subpoints are anything that has a heading style applied to it, and also any bulleted list or numbered list or outline list. Because again, we're just focusing on main points or key points from our heading styles and also our lists. And then we can go ahead in the PowerPoint presentation, show that up on the screen, and then have some other mediums like audio, a picture, video, and grab their attention more because, well, when I'm a presenter, I notice that my audience, when I put a lot of text up there, they start reading ahead of me going, okay, that's what that's about. I can clock out and not pay attention. So I'll just give them key words and say, okay, this is what we're talking about, and maybe just a few points like, our cookies are bigger, maybe we want to avoid high fructose corn syrup, so it's not as sweet as normal, things like that. And so it becomes less of a reading, but more of a thinking presentation to have it more interactive. And so we have our main point, snickered doodles, heading one, sub point, oversight or overbite, supports that heading two. And then our earnings from our oversight or overbite, well, you can't see it up here because it's not heading 2, it's a subheading 2, heading 2, which is heading 3, and then, of course, a subheading to the subheading to the subheading would be heading 4, but we're not doing that. So, when I send this over to PowerPoint by using the Send to PowerPoint feature, anything that has a heading 1 style will be the title for every slide. And then, in that slide, for the title that's on the slide, Snickerdoodles, all subheadings, like heading 2 and heading 3, will be bulleted points, or points that when I cover snickerdoodles on that slide are the things that I want to talk about. Now when it comes to bullets, well, I got a mix of headings, subheadings, and then the bullets. We'll see how it handles that. It's not as clean than if we just had either heading styles throughout our document or no heading styles and just a bulleted list. We'll see what happens in any case. To go ahead and send this over, our heading styles and our bulleted lists to the PowerPoint program, we need to come up here and add that command to the Quick Access program, which, before I do that, you could say, well, can I just copy and paste that over into PowerPoint? Well, you can, as far as the main points go, because, again, PowerPoint is just the presentation, not an entire document. So we're just presenting main points that we can discuss during the presentation. So you could copy your heading one styles and then go over and paste it. But when you use the Send to PowerPoint feature, it does that for you. You may have to rearrange a bit if it's not in the exact place you'd like to see it, but it's there. And you don't have to have two separate windows to go from one to copy to paste into the other. So let's come up here and right-click anywhere on the Quick Access toolbar to customize it. And then go from Popular Commands to all commands, 
and it gets sorted numerically first and alphabetically. So let's go down to the S's because the first word in the command is send. So hence send to Microsoft PowerPoint. Let's click and drag the scrolly bar. And there it is, send to PowerPoint or Microsoft PowerPoint. Double click on it, add it over to the right, click okie dokie, adds it to the quick access toolbar. And you can see, well, you got your document here, the first icon with a little arrow pointing over to PowerPoint. So it's going to send it over there in a single click. Click. Opens up PowerPoint, and there we go. We have a total of five slides. Let's see how it handles it. So on the first slide, like I said, any Heading 1 styles are going to be the titles for the slides. So that checks out. But then we've got our subheadings, or Heading 2 styles, under the Yummy Bears, which is Flavors. And that's right. But where are the flavors? Well, the bulleted points, it looks like coconut, maple syrup, and chocolate got their own. And, well, the other subheading, because I had two for Yummy Bears flavors and target audience, got dumped on the last one, but it put the bulleted point as the title for the slide to the um, sub point. And so that didn't work out quite the way I'd like it. But in any case, it's up to you how you want to rearrange it. Like I said, when it comes to sending to PowerPoint, when you have a mix of bullets and heading styles, it gets a little bit tricksy there, but it brought it all over, so you can just simply rearrange it if you'd like. In fact, the last slide, slide number five, when you just have all heading styles, that's how actually it displays it. So the heading style one is the title for the slide. Any subheadings to the main heading style are bulleted points. So over in the document, that was heading style two. And then over in the document, these two for the earnings were heading style three. So there are sub bullets to the bullet, which is a sub point to the main point here. And if we had heading four styles, they would be indented over underneath the earnings here. So you'd be able to see the hierarchical structure. So like I said, it brings over the heading styles, the bulleted points, so that way you don't have to copy and paste, and then you can just rearrange them if they're not exactly the way you'd like it over here in PowerPoint. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.